Hello, this is Johnny Henson, Professor Poole, with Billiard University out of Goodyear, Arizona. Uh, today I'm going to take you through how to do carom shots. Uh, uh, to begin with, you know, I recommend using dots. Uh, these are going to enable you to repeat the, some of the same shots over and over and over again. And that's really how you learn. You know, uh, maybe you shoot a shot and you miss it, and then you shoot another shot and you make the ball, but you leave yourself hooked. Well, you're going to be able to set up that shot over and over and over again. Maybe try that same shot from different cue uh, positions or different object ball positions. And uh, it's just fascinating, you know. Uh, so you want to have a certain place that you're playing off of. Uh, to, the tangent line is a 90 degree angle where when two balls meet each other, at that point of contact, that 90 degree angle is going to be your tangent line. Uh, in this scenario, you know, the stripe ball would roll down that line if it made contact with the other ball. Likewise, uh, if I was shooting the cue ball off of that same ball, then the, the cue ball would roll down that tangent line, you know. Uh, so at the moment of contact, if the ball is sliding, it will follow that tangent line. It will just roll down that line. Now, if you have follow on the ball, it will bend forward. If you have draw, it will, it will bend backwards. And so that's why I recommend practicing um, <clears throat> uh, stunning the ball, and then I also recommend drawing the ball, uh, drawing the ball off of the the uh, object ball, and then uh, following off that same ball. You know, because this this might give you a little bit more of an arsenal. Um, now keep in mind that right now, you know, uh, we're we're playing the the cue ball uh, off the ball, and that's usually the easiest way to do this because you got to be very precise on the hit off the object ball so that your tangent line is correct you know and so uh, by using your cue ball uh, this is an example of maybe doing a draw shot off the ball but if you noticed uh, I was shooting over the five so it's not just making the ball you're shooting at it's also leaving yourself an easy shot afterwards so that you can win the game so, you know, here is a very similar shot. Now I left myself wide open, so I'd probably win the game. Um, you know, here I'm going to hit, uh, kind of drill a little bit, and then uh, naturally uh, the, the object ball is going to come all the way down here and leave me an easy out for the eight. So, you know, uh, don't just be happy making the caroms, because the caroms will become very easy once you start practicing them. Um, the trick is, is leaving yourself um, a following shot or an out after you do this, you know. So you want to pr practice the real game scenario and not just making the ball itself, okay? So basically, if you, you're, here's an example of using an object ball to, instead of the cue ball. And, and uh, now right here, you know, I'm playing the, the cue ball off of that. And if you notice that the, the one, you know, still had a shot, but it wasn't a good shot. Now, when you're using the object ball, you, you notice that one barely went in. You have to be very, very precise when you're shooting object balls uh, to do your carom with. And that's why the d degree of difficulty goes up. Um, a good rule of thumb until you really get really, really good at this, unless there's something fairly close to the pocket, uh, trying to shoot a carom using an object ball is going to be uh, is going to be a tough shot. Uh, now this is an example of a draw a carom shot. You know I kind of drew off the ball, left myself an easy out. You know and move your cue ball around different cue ball positions and uh, and uh, try different scenarios. You know uh, I mean this is a this is a fascinating game. I I, uh, I could spend an hour doing this and I would not be bored because I would be doing uh, uh, different positions with my cue ball, different positions with my object ball. Here's an example on where I'm going to do a carom, but I'm going to use the ball to break out another cluster down at the other end of the table. So, you know, the, 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 uh, as you practice this and master this, it's going to be just something that is just going to be a weapon for you. You know, I mean, the, uh, as you master these, uh, even if you, after you spend an hour practicing these, you're going to see these shots all over, the, all over the place in actual game situations that you've probably been overlooking because you really haven't mastered them. So what I would like for you to do is take the time, set up some shots over and over and over again until you make really good caroms and you leave yourself really good leaves. And, and if you do this, it won't be long until you will be able to master caroms 
and that's going to open up a whole new avenue for your for your pool game. I want to encourage all of you to like and subscribe me and keep me encouraged and good shooting to you. I want you to become a master carom player.